and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and it's Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Chat Day. I hope everybody is all well. Um, I normally film this Whip and Chat at the weekend when I do all of my filming but this weekend I was full of a cold. Uh, nice delightful cold, you know, take it out of you. I'm not sure if you um, noticed on Sunday's Whip and Chat, but I definitely was feeling it on Sunday's Whip and Chat a bit. So I decided while it's half term and Megan is currently at home, um, currently doing all sorts of little jobs while I'm filming, I thought that I would, you know, do the filming throughout the week rather than sound lousy the whole week uh, with the batch of videos. So I'm actually filming this on Wednesday, the day before it's due to go live. So I may have actually finished a little bit more than what is expected for this normal video time. Um, but I will show you where I'm up to overall when I've finished. But I'm definitely getting there. So this is where I was currently up to on my chart. I actually did a little divide, each five sections and five lots, and I'm well into the second section of five now. Um, I'm sort of classing them as roughly 10% each because I was on about 50% done by the time I start when I started. So that gives me, let's say, roughly another 10% done each time. But yeah, I am getting there. Slowly but surely. I actually didn't do any on Saturday or on Sunday um, this last week. Saturday we had um, a busy day around the house, sorting some stuff out, um, straightening some things up, just general house maintenance that sort of happens. It was quite a nice day, so it was an ideal time to... Uh, give a few few areas of the house a little bit of a blitz. I did discuss, I think, most of it in last week, last Sunday's Whip and Waffle. And most of the stuff that we got up to sorting things out. And then, yeah, Sunday I did that bit of filming, but the cold was sort of just knocking me for six quite a little bit. So I didn't get um, the other section of my, of this done. I expected to do it in the whip and chat. Um, so yeah, the day had sort of got away with me by the time I decided, by the time I realized that I hadn't done that day section because of course I hadn't done the whip and chat. But I did do Monday, Tuesdays and this morning's Wednesday so I've already completed today's and I'm now doing a second section for this whip and chat so that's kind of like a little bit of catch up but I'm not getting precious over catching up days that I miss I always knew the weekends would potentially be the harder day to get it done though I was pretty good the weekend before. But yeah, I will take it as it comes. So I'm doing this whip and chat, as I say, I'm filming this on the Wednesday. But then part of my plan for this week is to try and get as many of next week's videos done as I can. In preparation, if it all works out to plan, which... We all know life can throw us a curveball, uh, but if it all works out to plan, I am trying to film all, if not most, of next week's videos over the next 
three days so that I can actually have the full weekend off. No videos to do. Oh, nothing, nothing that has to be done. It's all pure choice. Um, so yeah, you may find that next the next Heaven and Earth Design video after this one doesn't have very much progress at all. So just in case, that's why. But I have got questions um, from previous Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Chat videos to answer. And I'll be, I'll be chatting through all of those with you. And then we'll the heaven the next heaven and earth design video that I do for next week will be sort of the last video one of the last videos that I do so hopefully I'll have a few more comments and questions have come through then to give me enough to chat about but as I say time will tell I'm on a very bitty section again at the moment as soon as this starts giving me the blossom as, as soon as it starts with the pink, I know full well it's going to be a rather bitty section to do. It takes a little bit longer, but it's amazing. Look, see, the section I did this morning was very bitty as well. Just trying to work out, there we go. Just trying to work out how far I need to come across to get last of these ones done. Seem to be having a little bit of trouble of figuring out where I'm going and talking at the same time on this one today. But I've I've just finished filming um, the Paint Gem Mini new sets have arrived. The the new ones that they released have they arrived and I decided to bump the video that was supposed to go up today in favour of the new sets. So I'm still rather excited about those, but apart from doing the unboxing video, I've not looked at them any more than that. I will be doing more detailed unboxings going forward, and that's probably when I'll have a proper look at them, uh, but I'll spread them out over a few weeks and um, so that it doesn't feel as though that's all the videos that are being posted and nothing else because we still have lots of videos to do um, I need to de-kit my um, Vivian Fox from Carrot Art that still hasn't been de-kit since I did it since I finished it and moved on to my next one so I want to get that done and of course it's nearly March I have no idea how where February went really to be honest I know it's a shorter month but it's not you know that many days shorter it feels like they've shaved about three weeks off it never mind it only being a couple of days off February but yeah it seems to have disappeared um but hey I can see my progress by looking at at this anyway. At least I can see that there's movement. Sorry if you can hear Luna. I'm guessing the door is going. Uh, it often has been going. Every time I'm busy doing something, the door will go. Um, but that's the benefit of having Megan at home is she can get the door and I can actually get stuff filmed because not only is it not easy to film with Luna, she's getting a lot better, she's a lot older now. Um, so it, it's, it's getting something that's a possibility but the shop constantly has deliveries that just all seem to spread out over multiple days um, and pick up pickups for parcels and post and all the rest of it but it's just yeah it's all go it's all go in this house so yeah you get an all go day uh, but on to comments 
and questions etc these are what i say these have all been left on previous heaven and earth design whip and chats and i've just realized i actually put one too many diamond one too many diamonds on here which means i actually placed this in the wrong place because when i put these down they should be to the left which means i also put that in the wrong place okay reset this diamond i am just going to place on my side panel here i have a few little diamonds stuck to the tape down the side some of them have appeared uh, when i've been moving my heaven and earth design about and some of them may well have fallen um, when I have been potting, when I've been putting diamonds back into a pot. Or some of them may have popped off the painting because I'm constantly rolling this painting up um, to tuck it away each day. So I always pop the diamonds down the side and then if I ever find that a diamond is missing from somewhere because it's it's popped for whatever reason then yeah I will I will put that diamond I will pick a diamond from the side that matches the best and pop that in because I am not trying to figure out on the pattern where it is and which one it's supposed to be that is not a game I fancy playing that's for sure anyway sidetrack uh, Alice, she says, you are definitely a talented diamond painter. She says she's doing a black and white heaven and earth design. And she says it's difficult talking and dotting at the same time. Well, I've made a few mistakes today, that's for sure. Um, she says, granted, she is doing it from the paper chart. Uh, and not from Pattern Keeper, she says, but still, she says, sitting here watching you, um, she says she tries to work out how I can manage to be pro so precise while reading out comments then answering. Um, I'm not, hence my earlier mistake, though I must say it, it's also, I think, a day for it because I actually made about four mistakes on my section this morning. I don't know what my brain was doing. Maybe it's still, I've still got this cold. So maybe it's, we'll blame the cold because it can't answer back. Um, but yeah, I had quite a few diamonds in all the wrong places this morning as well. Uh, she says she's made some mistakes, she says, especially when she first started. She said, but luckily... Uh, for her, she said it's just the background and you can't tell. Yeah, I think on a picture this size, I can get away with the odd couple of mistakes, especially when it comes to, you know, this, this sort of blossom. You know, as long as I'm not making too many of them in the wrong place, I can tend to get away with one or two that are in the wrong place. At least that's what I keep telling myself anyway. See, look, can't even get those two in the pot. They teach me not to tip them into the spout and use the stopper. Did I have any of those? No, only five of those anyway. I've still not run out of any colors, by the way, just to keep you updated on that one. I have not run out of any. Um, I do know that there is an update for Pattern Keeper that is due. Some people have it already. And you can now hide the zeros in your pattern. But I am still waiting for that update. I'm not impatient, honest. Uh, but I do keep checking the Play Store. And as of yet, it is not coming up for me as an option. They did say it gets rolled out, but I don't know how long it's gonna to take to roll out to my tablet. I don't want that there, I want it there. Um, so yeah, I am imp impatiently waiting 
for the update to Pattern Keeper so that I can hide my zeros. Uh, I did notice it was being discussed on their Facebook group, so Pattern Keeper's Facebook group. I noted a discussion around it there and I am very happy with the outcome of said discussion which is that um, when it does go to when you tell it to hide all zero it sort of resets at the end of the day and hides them because that was going to be one of the things that I was going to try and figure out is I would like to have sort of you know the notice that something's gone to zero because I just tap them all and tick done um, <coughs> and if it all of a sudden just disappeared off my screen it's would I notice but they do reset the next day so at least it means I can keep glancing up and down and if I see a new zero then I know that I'm done with that particular colour and I can de-kit it and then the next time I go to it it won't be there. So that's pretty good especially because I'm doing a section a day. By the time I use it up it then won't be in my way the following day. Uh, so yes. Uh, Roxy she says she's just a fangirling in the kitchen Oh, I think I did read this. I did read this comment out on Sunday's Whip and Chat, and then I realised that it had actually been left on the Heaven and Earth Design video. So, your comments getting read out for a second time, Roxy. Uh, she says she's fangirling in the kitchen while making the kids breakfast because I read out her comment. <laughs> Uh, she said, honestly, she does enjoy the videos. Uh, she says they're relaxing and help her switch off from the crazy mum li life. Well, I'm glad I could help you, uh, albeit a little bit, Roxy. And you've had two shout outs because I didn't realise that it was a heaven and earth design comment when I read it the other day. So you get two. Uh, Sarah, she says, hi Rebecca, she says, you have made great progress on your heaven and earth design, she said, already this year. There's a little bit of determination with this one this year. Uh, she says, also, she says, thank you for solving the mystery of those extra drills stuck on the edge of the canvas. So all these little ones that are down the side. Um, she said she kept wondering why or how I didn't notice them. Uh, she says now it all makes sense. Uh, she says thanks for another great video. Yes, there is method in my madness. Uh, some people may put them, you know, may do the same sort of thing, but maybe put them into an empty pot or something like that. However, I've got four cases. I would end up forgetting which pot or I would put them into multiple different pots and not keep them all in one. So I figured down the side of the canvas is the best, especially if I don't spot any potential gaps until right near the end. Um, you know, when it's finished or when a lot of my diamonds are de-kitted already. And if that's the case, then, you know, I can pick from the side and I don't have to go hunting through my spare storage or anything like that to find diamonds to potentially fill any gaps. So I've got quite a selection and I think a lot of them are actually from tipping my diamonds into pots um, and then missing the pot. Or occasionally, you know, when you pick up a diamond and go to place it down and the diamond's not there. And you think, oh, you know, is it still in my tray? Or did I lose it on the way to the diamond painting picture? I think there's quite a few that I've potentially lost on the way to the picture. And it's just ended up somewhere else. That's my thoughts anyway. Um... 
Jo, she says, amazing progress, Rebecca. She says, you are almost at one and a half metres. Jo so keeps me going. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Jo last time mentioning uh, percentages and stuff that I was at that kept me going that bit longer. But, um, yeah, I am at, well, it gives me sort of diamonds going down yeah I'm not quite sure because I think 500 did work out so I'm at well I'm on the 640 row so between 620 and 640 maybe it is nearly at one and a half meters which is another little milestone um, but I've definitely hit another 10% from last time. I've actually done that one. Um, I am on 62.58% at the moment. So it's getting there in my next percentage bracket. Right, have we got oh, one of these? This is the one that's got a load of dark ones mixed in for some reason. So I'm just fishing out a light one. Because that should be a lighter colour. Oh. Sometimes it does annoy me when there's only one. I'd much prefer for there to be a few. But it's the design I chose. So it's, it's a rod I've made for my own back. Uh, Susan, she says, she's so happy to know that I only have 174 sections, she said, to go on this painting. She says that gives you a good amount of leeway, she says, for other things that pop up and less stress about making the goal for the end of the year. That is true. That is true. So say I didn't you know, make a big issue about the fact that I didn't get some done this weekend. It might take five months instead of four if I just managed to do Monday to Friday. But some days, depending on what we're doing, um, depending on, you know, what other people in the house are doing as, as well. I know one Saturday I did my heaven and earth design section but I actually did it spread out over probably a few hours so I would come in and I would do because I wasn't filming on that day um I just left it here on my craft desk because this is where I do it now I left it on the craft desk and just came back in bobbed in and did a couple did a few colors and then I'd go again because something, I'd need to do something else, maybe around the house or something. And then I'd come in and do a few more colours. Uh, so it took me a lot longer to do the section, but I was doing other things in between. Um, and it worked out really well. I quite enjoyed the sort of pottering back and to a little bit. Uh, made it fun. Um... Susan said she, for one, uh, is really looking forward to the finished reveal. Oh, it's going to be amazing to see it. I'm going to have to um, kick Luna out of the conservatory and use the full length of the conservatory floor, I think, just to be able to see it in its, in its full glory. Um, and then see about how I can potentially mount it and where it could potentially go. Because I do think it would fit at the top of my stairs. And I do keep thinking maybe, maybe I should put it at the top of the stairs. But I've got a few more months before I need to make that decision anyway little bit longer. Uh, Cat Lady says she is now 20% done on her Heaven and Earth design project uh, but she has currently packed it away just until she gets back 
from Wales. She says she's enjoying the process. She says, but going for one as large as yours is still daunting. It's daunting to me too. Um, I think you just, you don't need to, th it's thinking about it in the different way. Like you really need to think, it doesn't matter how long this takes. If it takes me years, that's fine. Um, because while I didn't expect it to take three years, you know, with life and things that have made me stop doing it for a while and then picking it up again, it has, you know, we're entering at least the third year for it now. So um, while I, I like the fact of getting it finished, I think this is maybe something that should have been adopted a lot earlier in the painting you know doing it on a daily basis but not necessarily with the commitment uh, because I think that's what stopped me from picking it up again was the fact I didn't know if I could pick it up again the day after or the day after that so I'd just leave it whereas if there was no commitment um, and it was just I will do a section a day every time I can I probably would have got more done um, than by thinking that, you know, I need to be going gung-ho on it if I'm going to go on it at all. But they are fun. They are fun to do. And really, they don't need to be completed super quick. Do you know what I mean? It, it's ourselves that drive us to complete it quicker. It's not like I haven't completed other paintings in the meantime um, and had other paintings to enjoy and to do that have, you know, been different, especially because they are, you know, your standard diamond painting that comes with the diamonds and with everything on the canvas already. Uh, Anne Smith says the fairy will be fun to do. Yes, the fairy was done before I even realised. So she's here. But just the way the light is on her, it's not... It's not like I, I completely realised that some parts of it were actually fairy. It's not until I've looked back to it afterwards that I've actually realised how much it was a fairy. Her wings stood out more. But again, it's just different, isn't it? It's just, it's a different way of doing things because you've not got sort of you know, the, the symbols on the canvas with the colour to sort of give you that prompt as to what's coming up and what you're about to do. And I'm trying, you know, I, I don't think to study the pattern, you know, often to see what is coming up. I like the fact that I finish a section and quite often I actually see more when I'm when I'm filming it. So when I show you guys sort of the whole recent few sections, because I'm not unrolling the whole thing, but when I show you sort of the recent section that I've done and fit it all into the screen, I'll probably see stuff that I didn't realise I'd actually completed in the past few weeks. Because they just appear. They just appear, right. Let's get 780. Uh, Joe's come back. Joe's, well, I'm not sure if it's the same video. It's probably a different video. Uh, she said, it has been a great day. She says she is finally caught up on videos. So there we go. She's been having a little catch up. Uh, she says she's finished her whip from last year. She says she has kitted up and started her next project. She said, seeing me work on my heaven and earth design, she says, is really enjoyable. Uh, and she said, she wants to say in advance, congratulations on hitting the one and a half metre mark. Uh, she says, when you finish that row. See, there we go. I knew Joe would keep me in check. So when I finish the row... From last week's painting, which I already have done, I am on to probably another two rows since I filmed that one. Um, I have passed the metre and a half mark. 
So now I just have another metre to go. Another metre left to do, but it's moving a lot quicker than I think it probably has before. Apart from maybe that first section when I was just doing loads and loads of 939. That section went rather quick um, because it was just such a easy blocks to do. Right, so I've got those four. Have we got any blues in here? Nope. Didn't think so. You get very used to what colours are likely to be in a section and what aren't. It can throw you a little loop every now and then. But you get used to sort of the blocks of DMC numbers that you tend to use. And we're on browns and pinks and greens for this one. And of course the burgundy reds. Uh, Deb, she says, hi Rebecca. She said, your heaven and earth design conversion is looking great. Ooh, let me just place these two and then I can read the rest. If I just placed one, I'd have scuppered myself. Um, she says, was thinking maybe when it's completed, if you can't find a space on your walls, you could donate it or gift it to a children's um, hospital or hospice. That is a good idea. Maybe I could get it framed up for a hospice because it is one of those images that you keep seeing things. Uh, she says to keep help you keep track of the percentage. She said maybe you could mark with a highlighter every 5% completed um, on your chart. She said it would look pretty too. Um, she says thank you for all your videos and whip and chats. Keeping me company, she says, when my insomnia kicks in. Uh, she also added that Cosmic Trip is going to be amazing. Yes, Cosmic Trip is fun. I actually haven't done any for a couple of days. So on Monday, yeah, so Monday during the day was a very busy day with, of course, launch and getting orders out. I actually did a few of them on Sunday um, to try and soften the blow for Monday. Say soften the blow. Soften the busyness on the Monday. So I did quite a few on Sunday. Then I did loads on Monday, though we were also waiting for a printer part usual standard with us something you know needs replacing or goes on the printer on launch weekend always the way uh, so we actually had a printer engineer out on friday uh, it needed a replacement part it was due to arrive on monday so i basically got all orders ready bar those that maybe i needed to print something either the quantity so the quantity that they ordered I just didn't have ready printed we have most stuff ready printed uh, but occasionally if a lot of people order the same thing we often just need to print something which normally is fine so yeah we needed this replacement part well it didn't turn up on Monday so I phoned the engineer on Friday on uh, sorry on Tuesday morning saying didn't turn up. So he said, ah, we mustn't have hit the cutoff on Friday for delivery. So it's due with you today. He said, any time between quarter past 12 and quarter past four. So of course I'm hoping for earlier. No such luck. The replacement part for the printer turned up just as it was our time for our postal delivery. Uh, postal collection so the replacement part arrived but of course I couldn't send out the orders that were waiting for it until today Wednesday so they've all gone out now but it's always fun anyway uh, got distracted as always so on Monday uh, the main part of the day or the working day was to 
uh, get the orders out which as many as we could did go and then our plan for Tuesday, and I say our plan, this is because Megan is currently on half term. Our plan for Tuesday was to build the new cabinets um, that go in the conservatory, have 3D printers on the top and hold extra stock underneath. And yeah, the plan was to build those on Tuesday. However, Tuesday was also Hubby's birthday. Um, and if anybody knows, when you start building stuff, you know, moving stuff about, it often, you know, can take a lot longer than you think. And my thought was that it was actually gonna take a lot longer to build and you know pull all the other ones out and all the rest of it and it I didn't want it to encroach into the evening of Hobby's birthday because he was at work so while he's at work it's fine but once he got home I didn't want you know the whole living room to be a complete and utter mess so he actually very kindly offered to start building the cabinets on Monday night so that's why I didn't get any cosmic done. I was building Ikea cabinets with the hobby on Monday night. And then Tuesday, um, we again did um, more orders that come in and we sorted out uh, the cupboards and the shelves into the units. And we do need to pick up a couple more, sh couple of shelves from Ikea. A couple were damaged, so we need to swap some. And we do need to pick up one more shelf, which is still on our to-do list. But yeah, we have got pretty much inside the cupboard organised. Hubby and I went out for a lovely steak meal last night for his birthday. And yeah, so Monday night I was building cabinets. Tuesday night I was out with Hobby. He said to me tonight, do you want to do anything tonight? I was like, no, I want a diamond paint. <laughs> I, want, I want to sit in diamond paint. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will be doing a bit more of Cosmic Trip this evening. Uh, depends how much filming I end up doing. Because, say, my other aim is to get as much filming done as I can for this week and next week. So I'm going to keep going with, of course, coffee breaks because it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? We get case number two. It'd be rude not to have my coffee breaks, but I'm going to see how many videos I can get done but I will stop at a certain time because I do have another day and a half I have an accountant meeting but apart from that um, it is just daily daily orders and things I've actually paused prepping advent calendar items it's been all advent calendar in this house I've actually paused doing those because as much as I want to be as prepared as possible, uh, due to the volume we're doing, there's, there's a lot of prep work to do. Um, the things that are in the house, I've paused just while Megan's on half term. Um, she's been doing a lot of designing um, and planning for things. I gave her her to-do list before half term. Uh, and she's done absolutely great with all of those. So I'll do the prep work throughout however many weeks it takes. It'll take quite a few weeks to get through all the different prep. Um, but yeah, we keep getting deliveries coming in of more advent items each time we get something confirmed and finalised. And it's really fun. I'm actually really enjoying it. 
and I'm kind of hoping that I'm actually done really early <laughs> so that I can enjoy the process of the advent even more so. Um, but yeah, I'd rather be early with it than be late. Oh, see look, that's a diamond I've just managed to drop out and missed it, nearly missed it. But I think I've got some sort of trunk part here, but then with more blossom here. It's messing with me. Well, that was a diversion on Deb's comment, wasn't it? Um, Tasha, she said, hello, Rebecca. She said, I love your videos. She says, can you tell me the name of this heaven and earth design um, pattern again? She says, because she loves it and she may purchase it also. Uh, thank you, Ina, for replying to her comment as well so that she has um, that record. But for anybody that wants to know, it is super sized Little Dreamer's Tree in Max Colours by Amy Stewart. So this is the pattern. It has 239 colours, 250 centimetres, and I am around here. So that's that little fairy that I showed you. This is the blossom. So I am around here with it. It looks like I have got a couple of twinkling lights, but looking at the colours, it does look like it's going to be quite multicoloured slash maybe a different shade of brown in this section before I get to some more lights and some more fairies. Uh, but there is quite a bit of excitement down here as well, which is where, where I reckon some of the colours are just going to hang on for they're going to hang on and wait for that bottom section and I'll be de-kitting colours every two seconds after every section when I get down there because I'm not quite running out on some of these yet. Oh, I don't have any of those in this bit. Uh, Jeep Girl Stitches. She says stunning. She says she has 18 full coverage heaven and earth designs going as cross stitch. Oh my goodness me. If they are anything like this one, you're a Wonder Woman. Uh, she says she loves them. She says she is really looking forward to her first cross stitch conversion to diamond painting. Yeah, you get to mix the two hobbies together um, all at once. And it is a completely different effect to stitching. Like stitching this and thinking of the amount of thread cast offs and cast ons and oh, I think anybody trying to do this max colours as a cross stitch is one very, very brave soldier is what I'd say. Um, but I'm sure you will enjoy doing it as a diamond painting. It is, it is different, but it is a lot easier uh, and more bearable to do than as a cross stitch. That's for sure. I don't know if I could have 18 on the go though. I'm a kind of one, one hit wonder when it comes to cross stitch primarily. I just tend to stick to one. Whereas diamond painting, I tend to have three or four on the go if we count all the types of diamond paintings. So I have paint gem mini sets, I have my heaven and earth design, I then have one large and one smaller painting as well. But I kind of count them as slightly different things. Right, let's get get a little bit of these awkward ones that are a bit dotted all over the place and then see if I can get to the next comment sort of getting in the thick of it's a bit confetti everywhere and wanting to make sure that I get the right sections 
Uh, Tracy, she says she recently finished um, her huge Heaven and Earth Design Hamony. Uh, she said it is one of the free kits. Uh, she said she used a paper printout. Uh, she said she loved the process, but she's not quite ready to jump into another one just yet. Well, sometimes you need a break. I mean, I often, if it wasn't for Cosmic Trip exciting me so much, normally when I finish a large diamond painting, I will either do some paint gem minis or do my smaller diamond painting for a bit just because it's a different type of project before I then kit up my next one and then start on it. There can sometimes be one or two weeks in between my paintings, depending on when I schedule the videos for. So some weeks I will de-kit and kit up all in, you know, the same week and I'll get straight on to my next big, or at least have my next big project ready. And sometimes I don't touch, um, sometimes I then won't touch it for a week or two. But sometimes, if my schedule, video schedule is already quite busy, I will de-kit one week and I will kit up the following week. And sometimes then, I'll even leave it a little bit before I actually start to do the big painting. And that's like my little break between projects. Um, I didn't do it this time because I got so excited over Cosmic Trip. Though I do think once I've done a few more rows of the diamond painting, I probably will either work on my dynamic floral a little bit off camera, because uh, at the moment I've only worked on it on camera, or I will do some of my paint gem minis and I'll just sort of have a little break and have a day or two of doing those and then I'll go back to doing um, cosmic trip again it just it's like a little mini reset um, and I find I enjoy the process more which is why I often have more than one kitted up that's for sure um, Tracy also says she says talking of cross stitch she said had me rummaging in the cupboard for her old stash. She said, not done for many years. Uh, she says, love to you and the family. She says, and thanks for the company. Well, did you find any um, in your old stash, Tracy? Have you decided to pick up and do a little bit of cross stitch? Or have you just been having a nice look at your stuff and deciding whether there is a project that you want to take on and do some cross stitch. I really enjoyed doing my Christmas one. Um, I mean, I'm, it, that again took a couple of years. I think because it was Christmas themed, I sort of when it wasn't nearly Christmas or actually Christmas, you know, it waned off a little bit. Uh, but I really enjoyed doing that project. I like doing uh, cross stitch in winter. I don't know why, to me it's a lovely winter thing to do. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a winter craft, it's definitely a me thing. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy doing it in winter. Uh, if I've got a project that I, that I definitely want to do, then I really enjoy doing it. Right, let me take those off. Uh, Crafty J, J Newton, she said, thank you for answering my questions, she said, and have a blessed day. Oh, you're more than welcome. I hope they helped. If I ever don't quite answer it right, or if you've got more questions afterwards, or maybe I've misunderstood your question, do feel free to ask more questions or, you know, leave extra comments 
all of that, more than welcome. Uh, it gives me something to chat about in future ones. And I've just realised this is the last of my 3371. Not the last in total, the last in this pot. And when I was doing it this morning, I did think to myself, I need to fill that pot up. Can you tell I didn't actually do it? So I'm wondering if I'm going to have enough to do this section or if I'm going to have to pause this video. It's got a bit of cardboard or something stuck in there. Get off. Don't stick to me canvas, thank you. Um, whether I'm going to have to pause this video and go and get more 3371. I'm going to see how I can go with what I've got. There's quite a bit of trash type bits in here because it's all sort of sank to the bottom of the pot and I haven't had to fill this pot up for a while I've actually had to fill the black up a couple of times but considering how much of this I can end up using I've not had to get any more out for a while and I do have some diamonds in the top of this bag but I didn't actually transfer everything into the bag as extras I just have a load of 939 that I'm actually not using at the moment. No, I am going to need some more diamonds. So let's see what I can get in before my battery, my memory card either saves that it's due to do or until I've used these last couple of diamonds. I just had three then so I just moved up to a section that only needed three and that's all rubbish so oh no it's not there's one more one more diamond that I can use right I better go get myself some more 3371 I'll be back in a moment right I'm back I have a couple of bags of 3371 that were just thrown into my heaven and earth design box of spares because while I've brought all the cases into my craft room I didn't actually bring a box in oh look that's pretty much a pot so I'll put those in the top of my case for future I don't need this many diamonds that have gone everywhere but hopefully they'll fit in the pot when I'm done that should keep me going for a bit. <coughs> I was so tempted to make a drink when I went out to grab these. But I was like, no, I need to finish this section first. Um, I can tell this section is actually taking a while. It's taking longer than it normally does, I think. Probably because of the variety of colours. Um, but it tends to be, normally on the trunk, once I've done 3371, I feel like it's done most of, you know, that section and I'm just filling in the last few gaps. But because we've got quite a few colours here that are actually in the last case. I'm not quite there yet. I think once I've done a few colours in my next case, I'll tell you when I reach the point where I'm like, I feel like I'm nearly done now. There's always just a certain point. It's never, I don't think a particular number of drills. I think it's just seeing the pattern look a lot less busy that makes me think it's nearly done but it's these single pinks that go pinks and reds and stuff that go here there and everywhere will one of you turn the right way up there we go oh maybe it'll feel 
feel good after this one. Let's see. I say I'll know when it tends to be done. Uh, Garden Angel says, what light, light board do you prefer? So they're going to buy an A2 one to replace theirs because theirs has stopped working. Uh, they believe it's because of their USB wire portal uh, becoming too loose and it will no longer stay lit up. Um, oh, I've just spotted a diamond I've placed in the wrong place. So I want to be able to place one here, which is actually this square. No, it's this square. And that shouldn't be there. Question is, where should it be? I normally have a look around at similar places to see if it's not, oh, it's there. If it's not looking right, that's where it's supposed to go. It's not supposed to be a hole there. That is what I was doing with this all this morning. I, I, I must have moved about three. Um, sorry, so they say the USB port is becoming loose and will no longer stay lit up. So primarily, I've always used an A4 light pad. Um, and I love the Huion, H-U-I-O-N light pad in A4 is the size that I've always used on my easel and I just move the light pad slash the diamond painting about a little bit to make sure that the section I'm using is fully lit up. I've never I've never necessarily felt that I needed a bigger one. I definitely never need a bigger one for the purpose of lighting up the work because A4 is well and truly big enough for the size of section that I tend to work on. Um, I'm never putting diamonds on the whole lit up section. But while I say that, um, and sorry, yeah, the Huion, I use the battery operated. So they do an L, it's called the LB4. Uh, it's an A4 battery and mains light pad. So I only plug it into the mains to charge it up. Otherwise I work off the battery, uh, which means that I don't have that wire getting knocked issue. I can move it about wherever I want and then just put it on charge when it needs charging up and go from there. Um, but yeah, having said that, I did actually buy their A3 version the other day. It's here at my feet. I need to do an unboxing on it. So I haven't actually opened it yet um, or messed with it yet. Uh, but I chose to get it. Oh, this is where I think I'm going to start feeling as though I'm getting there. Um, yeah, I chose to get it for working on the really, really big painting. So like Cosmic, uh, there's not so much big in just one length, but is big in two lengths because the amount that's rolled up doesn't bother me um, but the amount that is hanging over the edge of my easel is the part that bothers me so mm. I very very recently i.e last week uh, decided to treat myself to the A2 battery oper sorry A3 battery operated light pad so I can still use the battery because I don't want to lose that function um, I don't want the wire trailing about but I'm kind of hoping that with Cosmic even though it's bigger 
it's going to help me to feel as though the light part, the canvas is more supported. Okay, I feel a little bit closer to getting finished now, but I still don't feel hugely close. Let's do a few more colours and see if it gets any better. It's very much... The, the amount of colours is getting less. Of course it is, because I've filled some in. Um, but they're all very scattered. Very scattered about, and I think that's what's making it feel as though it's not nearly done. Because I'm seeing white gaps everywhere. All over the place. That's why it's ticking. It's sweet time. Um, so yeah, I like the battery operated ones just to save that wire trouble. If not, I mean, Megan's just treated herself to the A4 battery one um, because there is occasions when she doesn't diamond paint at the same time as me and she can use mine. But then there are times that we're both diamond painting together. So she actually ordered her A4 one. It's been out of stock for a while. So it finally came back into stock and she got hers ordered. And then a couple of days later, I decided to order the big one. Um, but there will be times I will be using the A4 one over the A2. I think we'll see what it's like when it's when it's actually been unboxed and I'm using it. I'll be able to give better feedback when I'm using the big one as to whether it's worth getting the big one or whether you should just stick with the A4. But yeah, it's standing me in good stead, that light pad. Okay. Oh. See, I think to myself, I haven't got that colour. Well, that's what I thought with this one. I thought, oh, I don't see much of this colour. And then, of course, there's three of them that I couldn't even see. This is why the light pad is amazing for actually helping me spot. I want to get some of these darker symbols is what I want. It's not likely to have any of those in. This darker symbol is a good one. And then there is another darker symbol, but I think it's right near the end. That will be good to get off, you know, where, what you can see on the chart. When you can see the darker symbol, I feel like they stand out a little bit more. So maybe it will feel nearer to being finished when I've done this. Though I still have over a hundred stitches to do. Do I? Oh no I don't, just under a hundred diamonds still to do. It says stitches but of course diamonds still to actually place down. I say there's not a magic number but it's normally when I put down 3371, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. And on this one, I don't. I want that feeling. I want the feeling of being nearly done. Oh, oh see, that's feeling better. Now, I feel like a lot of these symbols are the ones that are right at the end. They're in this last batch. Let me just check there's no A's. The often see look, an A or a three. When there's blossom, they'll throw a little purple one in there every now and then just to confuse me. And then the rest of these now should be, I know we've got some orangey ones. And if I've missed any more, I can always sneak back up. I'm trying to dip my pen into the pot and it's not working. Okay, so we've got a sneaky orangey one. And then are we at this last section? 
yeah this is what I call the last stretch because they're all browns and they get progressively uh, a little bit the light brownie pinks blount, brownie ready pinky browns uh, and it's it's these that are my last stretch of what I call cluster of colours um, because it is sort of the same-ish colour just getting lighter and lighter and then that orange that I did before was sort of my last orange and yellowy section before they're finished so yeah definitely feel like I'm getting somewhere now I think I need to start tipping them into my tray though uh, Lady Dax said yes Megan did give me the heads up she said for the red stuff uh, she said so looking forward to launch she said it was a very happy coincidence she said getting red pen and trashy in her advent that was a good a good um random good coincidence uh she says she's been using them ever since along with her red zesty tray she says fingers crossed that they will make everything in orange one day she said as p jelly is obsessed with it yeah we are trying to see for the likes of the bags and things we're trying to see if we can find um, a different supplier so it might be a different design uh, but somewhere that we can get a few more of the brighter colors uh, but as with anything, when it comes to finding a new supplier for stuff, that is often what can take the time. A new supplier or a new design of something is, is a very time consuming process. Uh, and while it's something we enjoy, it's not always fruitful. So sometimes it's something that has to be left for a minute, you know, if, if a, a supplier that you were kind of hopeful to use doesn't work out or doesn't have what you want uh, and often you're waiting for replies for them and then by the time they finally get back to you and you're like, oh, well, that was a waste of time and you have to sort of start the search again. But yeah, it's always something on our minds to find what you guys want. Um, I got to a complete dead end trying to get hold of the Xyron sticker maker. I have no idea who supplies it to the UK. Even Xyron themselves don't seem to know. Because everybody they put me in contact with knew nothing about it. So that's always handy to know, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I've not managed to find. Sorry, I was hoping my battery would last, but it didn't. Um, yeah, I've, I've got nowhere at the moment with trying to find the Xyron supplier. Doesn't mean I won't try again. Maybe I'll try and contact Xyron again and see if I can get somebody different who actually knows. Um, so yeah, I won't give up. But at the moment, it's not happening. It's not. It's not helping me. Um, it's probably some really obscure distributor that does it. Um, but because you know we don't use, or we're not like a supplier of loads and loads of di different sticky products, it's not something that's necessarily easy to find. Um, it's not like it's a different supplier that we use um, and they happen to do the Xyron as well because we go direct to a UK manufacturer for ours. Anyway, enough ranting about that side of business life. Uh, Carla says the painting is so beautiful. Thank you, Carla. It is looking amazing. I'm really impressed with it and I actually, I'm very, I'm itching to finish this 
section now so that I can show you guys what it's looking like so far and everything that's been done. Uh, partly because I want to see it as well. I've not looked through the viewfinder. So I've looked at the painting, but it definitely has a different look when you look through. When I look through the camera viewfinder, it looks completely different to when I'm just looking at it as I'm working on it. Even now, looking up, looking back, I can see that this is sort of, you know, a branch that's got the blossom off, similar to this, but you don't so much see it when you're over the top of it. Okay, last colour, last colour. Let's have a look. Is the next comment a long one or a shorter one? Oh, it's not too bad. Betty. So Betty, she says she loves my videos. She says after two and a half years, she said she is almost done with her heaven and earth design Little Dreamer's Tree, max colours of 237 colours. So it's not the one that's super sized, though having said that, there's about three centimetres in it, if that. Um, she said she is at 95.66%. Amazing work, Betty. I cannot wait until I am hitting the 90s, as they say. Um... She says, it's been a long and tough journal for her, she says, but due to mental issues, but she's pushed through it. It's probably helped you through it as well. Uh, she says she hopes that I get mine done before the end of the year. She says that will be an awesome accomplishment. She said, once again, thank you ever so much for the videos. God bless you and your family. Oh, bless you too, Betty. You are doing amazing. I'm so jealous. Imagine, 95.66%. I can dream. If I keep this up, I'm a few months off that. But getting into the 90s, that is so good going. Right, let's have a look at as much as I can fit on the screen for this section of my heaven and earth designs so when i started um i was at this 500 row ish um i'm pretty sure that's where i actually started was the 500 row i'm just pushing the odd little diamond down while i'm at it um but yeah i was up there so I've managed to do this in what, just over a month, maybe? I can't remember when in January I actually started. I know it was January. <laughs> There's a diamond here that's upside down. I have no idea why that is upside down. This is, this is one of the maybe minus facts of often doing this um, first thing in the morning but yeah I've done from there down and I'm rather impressed and I can see a light there by the fairy but yeah I hope you'll join me for next week's I might not have got too much more done but hopefully I'll have got a little bit more done um, before next week's video but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon